Tiger beer has a tiger as a symbol, and at Kenzo we introduced the, the tiger icon seven years ago, and hopefully in this project that we're working on, um, we will really get people to think about the animal behind the symbol. The roundup of artists that we've decided to partner with on this project just represent different countries where Tigers are a huge issue. Cambodia. I think that with illustration and in fashion, the symbolism of the tiger is, is very powerful. We don't really connect to you know, their plight in nature or, or how they're endangered. Malaysia. I hope that by contributing my work as an artist, I can be part of the solution. The Singapore. If the public perception and mindset doesn't change, the situation will still be the same. An American artist. When I heard how few tigers were left, I felt sincerely affected by it. It's hard for people to associate Kenzo without the tiger because it, it's become such an icon for the brand, which is super cool. And I think in the last year, we were like, we should really do something that kind of gives back to tigers and preservation and, you know, making sure that they don't reach extinction. My name is Purva Landuk and I'm the wildlife practice manager for wildlife conservation in Bhutan. So tigers actually use their stripes to blend in the nature, hide, and then they ambush the prey. And every tiger is different. So that is how we differentiate. You know, it's similar to our fingerprints, that every human has different print. Like that, tigers have different stripes. And of all the tiger species, they're all currently endangered? All are endangered. So in this room, uh, you can see that we have more than 10,000 snares collected. These types of snares have been set in the forest to trap wildlife. So what happens is when they're trapped, the animal struggles to move and then they feel restless, they get hungry, and ultimately they dry. This is now they're doing for illegal wildlife trade. My tiger's name is Machli, and it's amazing because she, you know, she can battle beast twice her size while her, her canine teeth fell out and she was blind in one eye. So I think that that ferocity in, in her really kind of resonated in me because that's like the embodiment of what a true wild tiger is. This is Vladik. Vladik is kind of like the urban tiger. You, the sighting caused like a huge sensation. So I thought the element of the city where he was sighted is important to be in the design. Okay. So I actually just painted a portrait of him, really wanting to show his emotion when he was being sighted. For Nameless's story, he was found with his paw caught in a snare trap. And when they found him, he was still alive but the injury became infected and the infection eventually killed him. So like for some of the designs, I wanted the snare to sort of become his stripes. I would want to show um, events that happened in Yu Pony's life to images. He was found in the forest, and then captured in the village, and then the government you know, captured him and rehabilitated him.
hopefully through this campaign, people understand that if tigers became extinct, it would be you know, devastating. Knowing that it's a solvable problem, I think it's important to be able to help the cause and, and spread the word.